Aloha and welcome to Supply Chain Training with Vessel. Thank you and mahalo for attending. We are excited to dig into this topic at hand with you and your team. Being born and raised in Hawaii, I have a vested interest in the success of manufacturing companies in my home state, especially since I grew up with most of these local brands. We spoke with Hawaii manufacturing companies like you to understand the unique challenges you face on a daily basis. Thank you for participating in our research. We really appreciate all your time and feedback as it was important for us to connect with Hawaii companies first. The opportunity to work with your companies generated a lot of excitement for us to dig into this project. We believe this training will provide key insights to help your team improve over multiple supply chain areas. Our goal is to provide education to bring applicable next steps to your company to improve your processes and overall efficiencies. To better serve you through this training, we would love to identify topics you would like to learn more about through your feedback. Please leave a comment below letting us know what we should dig into further. Mahalo. Welcome to this module on supply chain integration. Today, we will explore a definition of supply chain, models and ways of thinking about supply chain in your organization, and how supply chain and operation teams may interact with one another to integrate supply chain into the business. To help you put these topics that we discuss into action, you'll find a resource in the notes of this video that outlines how to start having more powerful cross-team discussions to improve your business operations. Let's dive in. Before moving much further, it would make sense to have a shared definition of supply chain to work from and maybe spending a moment on how the term even came about in the first place. Most simply, the Oxford Dictionary characterizes supply chain as the sequence of processes involved in the production and distribution of a commodity. More specifically, the Association of Supply Chain Management, one of the leaders in supply chain education development and certification offers this standard definition, the acquisition, production, and delivery of products to customers. This function of supply chain management has evolved over the years from segmented functions and business units scattered across the organization to a more unified approach to managing the acquisition, production, and delivery of products we mentioned earlier. Gone are the days of the 1960s and 70s where siloed teams like forecasting, planning, warehousing, packaging, distribution, and customer service worked independently. The trend of consolidation of these disparate departments continued into the 1980s, where planning, manufacturing, and inventory functions became known as materials management, and finished goods, distribution, transportation, and customer service became known as distribution. By the 1990s, warehousing, materials handling, and packaging merged with the materials management and distribution functions of the organization. And for many years, the combined body was called logistics, which is a point of confusion for many professionals still who may be more comfortable with this terminology instead of the use of supply chain management. In the 2000s, however, with major surges of IT, integration with sales and marketing, strategic planning and finance, we shifted our perspective from just logistics to a more encompassing term called supply chain. And now with the rapid transformation of supply chain due to technology innovation, since 2010, we have entered the age of automation, an evolution of supply chain where implementation of key software, robotics, process automation, and global business has ushered a new age that will continue to shape the world that we operate in. You might be thinking, well, that's great. I finally understand that supply chain is a general term that has gobbled up all the previously known departments under logistics and merged them with the evolving world of technology and sales strategies, strategic planning and finance. But with a concept so broad, how do I deconstruct supply chain into categories that are smaller and easier to work with when reflecting on my organization's operations? To help you and your organization contemplate the role of supply chain in your business, the two most commonly used models are the SCORE and the GSCF models. 
SCORE stands for Supply Chain Operations Reference and focuses on the specific activities within the supply chain. The model itself is organized around the six main management processes of plan, supply, make, deliver, returns, and enable. Using these basic components of the process, the SCORE model can be used to describe supply chains that are very simple or very complex using a common set of definitions. GSCF is the Global Supply Chain Forum, which tends to describe the key relationships between internal functions of the organization and external entities. There are eight relevant processes in the GSCF model, customer service management, demand management, order fulfillment, manufacturing flow management, supplier relationship management, product development management, and returns management. Logistics also plays an important role in supply chain processes in the GSCF model. The goal of this video isn't to break down which model is right for your organization. It is, however, to encourage you to spend time researching both models to obtain a deeper understanding of how supply chain concepts can be segmented and described from your industry perspective. Check the notes below and follow the links to learn more about both models. So far, we've provided a working definition of supply chain, discussed the evolution of the discipline, and provided some key frameworks for you to reference a scaffolding and organize your thoughts around supply chain. The remainder of the video will focus on examining the relationships between your supply chain management group and other key functions in the business. And although operations impacts most areas of your organization, we'll be focusing on three, sales, information technology, and accounting and finance. Sales and marketing functions are typically what drives top line revenue in your business. And it's great to have an awesome sales team. Sometimes, however, the ability to sell outpaces the ability to produce or deliver. And it can be an exciting time for companies who are experiencing growth. However, it can create internal conflict, frustration, and confusion to the front lines, or the shop floor, or the warehouse when potentially preventable issues occur. Having regular meetings to forecast customer demand and inform the demand and supply planning process from these discussions is critical. This is not a module on sales and operations planning, so we won't get much deeper here, but the recommendation is to have at least quarterly meetings to forecast with the sales team and to regular touch points, whether it be weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly, to contemplate how things are being sold in your business. Quite often, small and growing businesses may lose some structure around these discussions and the planning process. To avoid the headaches of poor planning and communication, take a moment to contemplate where your business is with your supply chain and sales function. The accompanying worksheet in this video will have a few questions for you to work with your sales team. Now regarding information technology, the world we are in is changing rapidly. The leaps in communications, system capability, processing speed, system integrations, data storage, robotics options for manufacturing and shipping, smart devices, it's all been unprecedented. It is common to find automation nowadays, or at least the pursuit of automation through system improvements, new equipments, and robotics everywhere. And of course, it's impossible to deny that these things, smartphones, tablets, are now complementing scanners and printers and the front lines to reduce wasted effort and better serve our customers. Supply chain functions of business should be collaborating with IT frequently to support existing technology, explore new technologies, and improve the speed of business to align on top priorities and long-term goals. Additionally, ensuring the right mixture of vendors, contractors, and support for your business from an IT perspective is crucial. This includes equipment replacement, downtime procedures, business continuity and data backups, custom and out of the box software integration and support. Sometimes these discussions can get lost in large meetings. So make sure to have specific forums to talk about both strategy and tactics between your IT and supply chain leadership. Check out the worksheet in the notes of this video 
with questions to help your teams become more aligned. Now, finally, accounting and finance. From expanding sites or financing that next big order to taking advantage of contract terms or making sure our suppliers are paid, the accounting and finance functions of a business are critical to keeping the blood of business, money, flowing through the veins of business, operations. Too often, organizations get caught in the trap of only chatting about the relationships between accounting and operations when there's a problem or a project. In most cases, that's enough to keep the lights on. But as the complexity of your supply chain expands, accounting will be a key internal partner for capturing savings, for driving out operational efficiencies, reducing overspending on inventory, and providing visibility into the financial health of the business. Explore the suggested questions in the notes of this video to build stronger relationships with your accounting and finance team. In all three cases, sales and marketing, information technology, accounting and finance, it is so important to take inventory of the meetings that you're having. Be honest about the challenges and communication breakdowns between the functions in your business. Regardless of how big or small your organization is, reviewing the number of meetings you're having, the agenda in those meetings, who's leading them, what information is being shared, what critical data flows between teams, and having goals to work on together is often a quick win for companies who haven't thought about this in a while or have grown organically in a way that's become reactive. I hope this video provides you a stronger understanding of the concept of supply chain, excited you to explore the SCORE and GSCF models, and inspired you to take action and revisit the way that the supply chain function in your organization is working with key departments like sales, IT, and finance. Please leave your comments below and let us know what additional concepts you'd like us to explore in the next video series. We really hope you found valuable insights within this training and we're excited to hear your feedback. Our goal is to help improve Hawaii manufacturers' understanding of the supply chain. The more feedback we receive, the better we can provide meaningful connections and future ideas for how to service you and your teams. Please let us know what you thought through our survey Innovate Hawaii will send out over the next few weeks. Also, make sure to reach out to Wayne at Innovate Hawaii with any questions or concerns you may have. Thank you for attending and mahalo.